This is Chris Kogo with LearnToSkipTrace.com. What's going on, guys? I think I know. You want to be a skip tracer. You're wondering, how do I find people? That is exactly what I'll be showing you today. Are you wondering how to be a stalker? Dude, don't be sick in the head, dummy. If you're skip tracing, hopefully you're making some big money. Today's lesson is pretty special. I'll be giving you a sneak peek into the sniff. The sniff. Although it might sound funny, it's something really serious. Social networking infiltration formula is a system that I developed for social networking skip tracing. Now today's lesson is labeled taking the twit out of Twitter. I'll be showing you some Twitter basics and more specifically I'll be showing you how to find people's profiles. And I know it sounds funny for me to say but keep your eyes open guys. So the name of the lesson is taking the twit out of Twitter. And for those that are not familiar with the word twit Let's go ahead and use Urban Dictionary to go ahead and define the word twit for us. Um, I've went ahead and looked up twit here. It says uh, the first one, a uh, twit, the kind of person that makes a retarded chimp look smart. So someone's stupid, basically. Uh, the second definition says a moron with absolutely no sense. And the third definition here says someone with the rare... <laughs> Someone with the rare ability to suck their own... I can't even finish the sentence. Um, that is a talent, but um, it, it doesn't fit in this context. Um, fourth, uh, The fourth one is more like it. Uh, the fourth definition here says, According to Oxford Student Dictionary, a foolish person. You twit! So basically, the name of the lesson is taking the stupid out of Twitter skip tracing. So let's go ahead and get this lesson started, guys. So let's first talk about how a twit would do a Twitter skip tracing search. A boring, lame, stupid twit would go to this conventional search box, type in someone's name like a lame ass, and they'd go ahead and hit the magnifying glass. And they'll basically get what you see. You'll get somebody's name or someone's profile, and you'll have to continuously click on all of them to see to see what it is so you know you'd have to go into a profile and all you'll see is someone's profile someone's Twitter page and someone's tweets or twats or postings whatever you want to call it so that this is how a twit would do it let me show you guys an advanced way to do it someone with the savviness would end up going to search dot twitter dot com now for those that are familiar with this don't let me insult your intelligence okay uh, this video is for those that are not familiar with Twitter so once you get to search.twitter.com you'd want to go ahead and click on advanced search let's go ahead and scan across this page here on the top it says words so over here you can search phrases so if something gets mentioned a company name gets mentioned or whatever it is you can search for phrases down here would be people now over here it says from these accounts so you could type in someone's name here but this is what catches my eye and this is what should catch your eye it says here to these accounts so people that posted to these accounts and mentioning these accounts people that mentioned these accounts so you can go ahead and navigate and dig deeper so that that's pretty much it let's go ahead and take it one more step further and let's now talk about how people might lay out their Twitter names or their Twitter screen names is what I'll call it. So this is how psychology works on the internet. Remember guys, people are one, lazy and not creative. Number two, people like to use the same screen names for everything. This will all make sense to you guys in just a second. Now just for entertainment's sake, I chose out some funny email addresses. Martha Elizabeth Cummins of Fresno University goes by come in me at fu.edu. Mary Ellen Dickinson of Indiana University of Pennsylvania goes by dick in me at iup.edu and Amanda Sue Pickering of Purdue University goes by ass picker at pu.edu. And last but not least, my personal favorite, Isabella Hayden Adcock of Toys R Us goes by i had cock at true.com 
And ha ha ha, some of, some of us got a laugh out of this one. But there's something important I'm trying to get across to you guys. Now the beginning extension of an email address. So I had cock would be the beginning extension of an email address. You know, that beginning extension is really important. Oftentimes, because we are lazy, and because we're not creative, or because we simply like the name, and I'm sure Isabella doesn't like I had cock to be the front face of her email address, but, you know, a lot of times we take the beginning extensions of an email address, and that becomes our screen names on Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, or High Five, or whatever it is. Hopefully you guys got the point here. Now we'll talk more about advanced skip tracing in our future videos. And you're probably wondering, why should I visit LearnToSkipTrace.com? Are you wondering, how do I find people? How can I find someone? How to be a better debt collector or how to be a debt collector? How to be a stalker if you're sick in the head? You know, if that's the case, you should visit me, Chris Koga, at LearnToSkipTrace.com and check out my blogs, my tutorials, my videos, my forums, and other skip trace education material. Visit me, Chris Koga, at www.learntoskiptrace.com. I'll see you guys on the other side of the Money Mountain.